Hey everybody, it's Lori Krause at Stamping in Deerland, and you're back for another video of techniques, tips, and advice on rubber stamping. Today we're going to make this really cute and easy um, Halloween card. Um, it's basically an A2 note card and some DSP, some black card stock, a little washi tape. Um, we're going to punch, and it does have a big shot element, but I've already punched that out. I like to do that before my workshops. So um, we actually made this in a workshop um, over the weekend. So let's get started. So the first thing I have, I just have a piece of um, eight and a half by five and a half cardstock, and that is scored at four and a quarter. So I have that, <clears throat> and then I had a black piece of cardstock. This is three and three quarters by five, and I've put some dimensionals on the back. Um, so it's all ready to go. And then this is some DSP from the Little Freaky Friends DSP. And I love this orange diagonal stripe background. Um, and this is just cut an eighth of an inch um, down from, so it would be, let's see, that would be um, four and seven eighths by three and five eighths I believe that should be correct so that's cut down just an eighth of an inch and then so it's a sixteenth of an inch layer around all the way around so you put that together so we have that now when we were doing the cards the other day some of the ladies were like hey turn the paper over this is what's on the other side of that paper and you know what's really cool look at the little eyeballs and stuff depending on which um, piece of paper you happen to pick um, there was more than one set of eyeballs. You could just put your element over here instead of over here. Um, some had leaves, some just had eyeballs. So that was fun. So you could use either side of the paper. Um, so that made it double the fun. So we'll decide in a minute which one we're going to put on there. So what I've done is I went ahead and stamped my little witch from Freaky Friends. She's super cute. Um... And uh, this is just scrap paper. I did stamp her with the Memento ink, Tuxedo Black, um, because I want to use my Blendabilities to color her. I've just started using the Blendabilities to color everything. I decided I just like it. And there's no lines, no muss, no fuss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 2.5 inch... Um, circle punch, which can't really see the numbers on there. There they are, the glare. And I'll punch my witch out. I always stamp first and then I punch out so that I can get my witch in the center. And then we're going to give her a little bit of color. So we'll use our blend abilities. I'll see if I can get in here and let you actually see me use them. Now with um, the black ink, number one, it won't run. Number two, you don't really have to stain the lines either, which is kind of nice. Um, so we'll color her fingers. We'll color her skin down here on her legs. So we've got that in green. She's a good green witch. And then on her arm here, we'll color her dress, her smock, I guess you could call it. We'll color that orange. This is some pumpkin pie, um, the blendability. So we'll hit that. And then we'll use a little bit of the crumb cake. Um, this is the light one, I think, I believe. And we'll do her broom on that. But why I started using um, the blendabilities when I'm just coloring everything is by the time I'm done, um, there's no lines. And before, you know, you could color this right here and you would have like lines where you just did a little bit of coloring with the marker. So I like this a lot, that it looks a lot better. There's no lines in it. So I'm super happy with that. So I'm going to keep going with the blendabilities. And I guess when they run out or I ruin them, I'll just buy new ones. Um, so this is going to go on a circle. This is punched out with the big, or die cut with the big shot. It's the um, sunburst 
um, set of framelits and this goes on here just perfect and gives it a nice little border so I will use some snail and we'll place that on there so we have that element now on my card when I start putting my card together depending on which one of these I want to use I have this black strip that's going to go across and I guess I can put this down over here so you can kind of see that. I'm going to take some of the washi tape and believe it or not this washi tape is from the All Is Calm suite and there's five different washi tapes that all come together which is really nice. This is kind of like a gray and silver stripe. So if you've never used washi tape I just laid it across there. I tore it off. All you do is just, you know, take your ends and cover it up like this so they're concealed behind it. Super easy. You don't even have to have a pair of scissors. And then I'm going to snail this little snail. I'm going to put two rows of snail. I hate it when it gets cold and sometimes your cards fall apart. I think I'm going to use the one with the oogly eyes in there and I'm going to put this across. So there's my card so far and I'll need to put a few dimensionals on here. I like four dimensionals. I'm not usually too cheap with the dimensionals. The more the better. Sometimes they even put six on here just to make sure that sticks and <clears throat> it's going to stay popped up. I'll have to excuse my voice. I'm still fighting that little cold asthma allergy thing I had going on last week. Um, getting better though, so I must say. I thought it was for sure a cold, but now I'm thinking maybe it was my asthma. So, Because this is my asthma season, so what do you expect, you know? All right, so we've got all our we've got our card base on here. We've got our card layer and our cardstock layer. We've got our little piece here with our washi tape. Now we're going to add our witch that we layered and colored with the uh, blendabilities. And now the only thing we have left is we need to have a little greeting. So, I took the stamp from Good Greetings, Happy Halloween, of course, and you get this free if you're a hostess and have a $300 workshop or just a $300 party. It doesn't matter. You can have just your own party if you want to order that much. But you get that free, and that's only until the end of the month, um, that promotional end on October 31st. So, if you need to get an order in, so you can get that great stamp set. There's Christmas stuff in it, Valentine's stuff, personal stuff. It's all nice little one-line greetings. And always remember, stamp first, punch second. I use the modern label punch. And then I've added a couple of dimensionals. Got to bling it up just a little bit, not much, just a little bling. And then we'll add our greeting. I'm going to add mine up here so I can still see my spooky, my spooky eyeballs. Because those are what attracted me to this card in the beginning. So, quick, easy, really adorable little Halloween card that your little goblins can make for all their friends at school. Or you can make them for your little goblins and your friends too. So thanks for stopping by Deerland and thanks for watching my video on techniques, tips, and advice from, from Lori Krause. And we'll see you again sometime. Thanks. Bye.